It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1814, recorded Thursday, January 14th, 2021. The best of 2020. episode of the Gizwiz, it is the best episode of last year. That's right, all of the best gadgets of 2020. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LED. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, Father Gadget, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? Uh, I'm good, sir. And you, worn out from coming back from CES? Oh, man. I, 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 got, I got the con crud. <laughs> Actually, luckily, <laughs> this year is probably the only year I've been to a CES and not gotten the con crud. Because... Uh, Obviously no. we and you and me both. And, <laughs> uh, and when I went in to, uh, I, I thought for some reason the dates they give are through today. But when, when I went on the CES website today, it was a wrap up and that CES was over. And I thought, what a wonderful thing. CES just ended and I'm already home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, 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 well, you know, I, I was talking to, uh, a couple of other people who who go to CES, uh, Steve Greenberg uh, over at NBC, about how convenient it is when it's on the web. I mean, there are a lot of drawbacks. Right. You don't run into Padre and and all Twit people that we worked with and fans of the show. But uh, I said, even if CES is in person next year, they should have a a online component Absolutely. and it was interesting because the the press release uh that i got later in the day is that ces 2022 will be a combination of in vegas and online right and um, it, yeah because what does it cost them to put up a website exactly and, <laughs> nothing and 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 i mean i'm almost worried that a lot of companies are going to feel like they don't have to go I I think you are absolutely right. right. Like, I think, com yeah, depending on the reaction they got at this CES, I think they will not be going back to CES in person. Right. Now, the two big shows that Chad and I go to and come back with a lot of videos, that's kind of the downside is we came back with no videos. Uh, but we have a lot of videos from the companies. Um, there's Showstoppers and there's Pepcom. Right. Showstoppers, they did like seven hours of broadcasting, like three hours one day and three hours another and then another hour. Uh, and not convenient. They did four gadgets an hour with each company doing a 15-minute presentation. So if you didn't like the gadget, you would go get coffee for 15 minutes or whatever. I Where mean, just to put it in perspective, here, here is the Showstopper's website, right? And so they have the archived live streams. This is a 40-minute video, but this is one of six. <laughs> you got an hour yes. long, and a 50-minute one, another hour, another hour, another hour, like six hours of live stream. <laughs> it's a lot. It is yes. a lot. Lot. Now, go to Showstoppers. This is Showstoppers. And so there you go. Th there's everything. Every brand. There. Every you brand. Go, you now, know what I you, like? I like Anchor. Just click Anchor. Right. Bam. And, and immediately comes up a video about what they do. And then over on the left, you can join them live. You can go in and get a media kit. You can just get the PR information. You can go to their website. And if you're lost, you can go to event help. Uh, but go back to that other screen for a minute, Chad, the uh, opening screen. And I'll tell you what I liked about this. Um, so go to 
Trova, T R O V A, uh, second column from the left toward the bottom. And you have no idea what Trova is. Uh, yep, yep, there you go. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, uh, wait, uh, you see, Trova's there, right above anchor. Go. You have no idea what Trova is. You click on it. There's a video, okay? Immediately, you have a great idea. You have you have a, a great idea of what they are. It's a little personal portable safe. Uh, th- this was just a great way to do this. Right. And also, they emailed everybody that if you have to catch up with anything, we're going to leave this website up. Just use your password. The website will stay up for another 30 days. Uh, so Showstoppers was really, really great. Yeah. And they had something like 30, uh, uh, booze there. It allows you to really kind of hone in on what you want in a few minutes (laughs) instead of six hours of video. No, absolutely. Now CES had, uh, 1961 exhibitors versus... 4,500 at the show last year. The problem with them is they just had the names of the companies. You had no idea what each one of them did. So you you could go in there and it would have been better if it would have said the name of the company and make safes. Right. Or just <laughs> an image phones. of something. Yeah. Like something. Give, give me yeah. an like, idea. Yeah. Right. Something, not just not not just a name. Um, so I, I I think you're absolutely right. I think a lot of companies are going to say, um, "Why we're going to send not all worth these it. people?" I, I, I think mean, that they're, they're going to think, "Okay, we could either spend, I don't know, ten thousand dollars on CES to get to fly everyone out there to put them in hotels, the booth itself, the rental of the space, all that money." I mean, I think ten thousand dollars is lowballing Whoa. it like crazy, Whoa. like crazy. Maybe. Oh yeah. Or I mean, if you, we could produce yeah. one ad that'll play on YouTube and Instagram, and then throw all that cash at that ad, um, or you know, spend time by re, you know hiring an agency to reach out to uh, to media individually. There's. I think yeah. that they're realizing that it's probably a better idea to do that, um, which is a little bit frustrating for us because one of the things we liked was being there. You know, you got yeah. thousands and thousands and thousands of people there, and you are just as important as anyone else. So it's great for the little guy to just kind of walk up, say, hey, want to see what you're showing me? Show me, and then move on. Um, exactly. Exactly, so. and, and just walking down the aisle and seeing something right. whack. I, I posted on on a YouTube, uh, on a Facebook. You you're not going to walk down the aisle. Well, you can't walk down any aisle with the virtual thing and find a guy with a potato saying, "This will be next year's Alexa." Right. right. Um, it's just and and that was the other thing at CES. They didn't have any of the really little wacky things because those people don't have PR agencies and don't yeah. know how to get online uh, or at least I couldn't find any of them online so the thing um, is is that I, I really do feel like there's a great space for a platform for this type of virtual convention I think that that's yes. the issue is there is no platform at the moment because getting you know media types like us or investors or whoever all in one space with a curated list that is always going to be useful that is always going to be useful Absolute, to get everybody's abs- eyeballs in one area. That's going to be so useful. I just don't think that the platform for it has been built correctly. Someone mentioned, like, why not a virtual convention floor? You could do something very similar with a web page, but I just, I just don't think that has been built yet. And so who knows what not, not, is going to happen yeah, next not year. Not conveniently. The toy, no. One of the toy uh, companies did it where... It was a virtual coliseum, and you took your mouse and you walked down the hallway, right. and it it's was skeuomorphic so, design. Remember that from it was from, so <laughs> exactly. Confusing. You don't the, need that. I think that no, no, yeah. And, and the funny thing is, there was like an overall diagram that you could see. There were eight people 
in this room and there were three people in that room and then down in the thing it was tech help and there were 207 people in the tech help room because everybody was just lost right um okay. but there's certainly um a lot to be said to uh, having a, a convention like that online i mean i, I saved like 1500 dollars between airfare and the hotel yeah. oh yeah I, I really and, wonder and if Vegas of, is feeling it because I've always felt CES brings in so much cash, oh. so much cash. I mean, just I would drop like a, a few thousand dollars to be there yeah. with the hotel, the food, the flights, the Ubers or taxis or whatever. Uh, and I uh, was a absolutely. small fry. I was like, I'm just one dude out of these thousands and thousands of thousands of people that are coming oh, here. Oh, yeah. I would yeah. hear that like Panasonic was dropping a million dollars mm -hmm. because they had rented a huge booth and they showed um, on one of the CES feeds that every hotel in Vegas, I don't know if they kept it up for all four days or just they told them put it up for one day while we shoot this video. Every hotel in Vegas, every billboard said, we miss you, CES. I'm looking forward to seeing you back here in 2022. I can imagine they missed them. I mean, I remember looking for hotels last minute one year, and it was, in, it was insane for Vegas. Vegas, you can get a hotel for under $100 almost any night of the year. And there yes. was, you know, $300, $400 night hotels. Um, I looked earlier in December, and every hotel was like giving them away, giving away hotel rooms because nobody was going during CES. I just thought it was crazy the difference. Yes, yeah, yes. Well, Even Circus Circus, two years I stayed at Circus Circus, like one of the cheapest hotels that if the traffic is really bad, you could walk to the convention center. Right. Okay. It's almost a mile, but you can walk. And when you make the reservation, CES used to open on a Tuesday. So Monday night was $69. Tuesday night was $249. Yep. As was Wednesday night and Thursday night. They tripled the mm -hmm. price for CES. Yeah. Uh, and it's crazy. Crazy. And now crazy, this crazy. year, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Vegas. Yeah. We're not there. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, we have lined anyway. up the best gadgets oh. from 2021. 2020. Oh, my gosh. 2020, yeah. We, we don't um, know the gadgets of 2021. No, we don't yet. know those yet. Uh, uh, so we're going to cover uh, all the best, and then uh, we're going to compile all of our favorite things from CES, and the next two shows, or the next, yeah, next two shows of January will be all CES shows. Um, exactly. And some, some and other And then I'm going to do a couple of extra shows because I went to two events you didn't get to go to. I got mm -hmm. to uh, Food Tech and then Tech Fluence, so couple of weeks in February, I'll have some extra gadgets. But today, it's all stuff we liked. And uh, I think I was up first with the three-way flashlight. And this is it. Here we go. This a while back on the Gizwa Show, I did a story about the mini flashlight okay if you missed it i'll just do a quickie demo all right so it has a little adjustable front beam click off that it goes into strobe click that off and it goes into a task light built into the side okay and it has a handy dandy little lanyard it comes in a plastic case it's a rechargeable 500 milliamp battery and it comes with a little charging cable so I paid actually. You could stop it right there. Then right I, there, you go. <laughs> um, only, <laughs> only because the the next one I showed um, is no longer around. But this one still is. Now it went up a little in price. Um, for Christmas, I bought a dozen of them because they're great to you know just to a neighbor, the mailman, someone you just want to give something to. Um, so they are. Four, it comes to four dollars and twenty-five cents each. Okay, so it's very interesting. Is they evidently ship different versions because that one shows the little pocket clip, but right. the ones that actually came in my the six that I bought 
have a little lanyard on the side. But basically, they do a forward beam. Some of them have the blinking light, which I don't think you need. Uh, but they all have the task light on the side, which I like a lot. Okay, I'm not going to shine it into the camera. I like the fact that you can have just lay this on its side. And if you're working on something, it's like someone's holding a flashlight for you and really small and four bucks and a quarter. Uh, I bought six of them. Oh, wait, someone scooter X. Of course. How much are they on AliExpress? I hear they are. It is they, a what? Oh my gosh. Are they, are they I'm going to have to figure buck? out which configuration gets it down to 13 cents. But one of these, uh, don't, why, where is that? Oh, it's 30? funny. They have, they, and, and they have, oh, wait a minute. Battery not included. Yeah, that's interesting. Huh. Huh. I'm confused. The, See, oh, it, is, and if it's not obvious, this has a, the ones we're talking about, has a built in battery, and you use just a mini USB to charge it, which I think is, the number one selling point is you don't got to keep up with double A's or triple A's. You just have your normal charging station that you charge everything else at and you just plug it in and it's charged, which I think is just great. I think that that is a huge feature of, of this flashlight. Exactly. And, and it's a little, in case you don't have a bunch of gadgets, there is a little charging cable in the uh, uh, and they came in a plastic box, as you see in that picture there. So a dollar eight. Yeah. So this is. Oh, oh, the, oh well, for the dollar eight, you get the battery. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, for dollar fifty five, you get the cable and the case. Um, oh my gosh. For thirty two cents, you get battery not included. No. I. Uh, you know <laughs> what? I'm gonna buy some more there. <laughs> How is the battery not included? I'm so confused because it's <laughs> hmm. free shipping. Uh, although it is going to take a while on. So this, I think this one is probably the one that you'd want. The dollar eight one because it has the built-in battery and a USB cable and it says free shipping to the United States. Uh, does it say where it's located? That, that's great. Let's see, but anyway, there you go. Dollar eight. Um, I did get some of these. I, I got some of these too. Um, a few of mine had trouble charging, so I think one of them could not charge. But at that price, I was like, "Goodbye." <laughs> I know. I know. Toss it. I know. Yes, I had one like that too. It would charge, but it would if you left it on for more than five minutes, it was dead. Right. Um, right. So <laughs> just be aware. Well, they said if you order them on uh, on AliExpress, you'll get them in 2022 <laughs> exactly. sometime. Exactly. Uh, anyway, that, that, so, I love so we both loved the little uh, flashlight. Perfect. The next gadget is my gadget. And this was actually something that we saw at CES. So it's basically exactly. a year um, a year ago we checked this thing out. Here's just a, a quick clip from what we saw um, at CES, and it was the Pix backpack. And I love this gadget. And so for my birthday, a few fans, the family Robinson, came together oh, and they wow. got me one. So I actually have one and I love it. I think it is one of the coolest gadgets ever. Uh, the backpack is a, just a great backpack. The part for your laptop is in the in the lid. And then there's just a little USB, a, a normal USB-A cable um, that you plug into your own battery pack. And then that is what powers the LED. You use an app via Bluetooth to control the screen on the front. And it's just individual LEDs all inside of a grid. And this is really nice because it's soft. And so it, you, I feel, you know, there's no worry that this isn't going to last if it gets put into an airplane, uh, you know, upper storage or under the seat in front of you or wh what have you. Um, and you can put 
extra designs on it. So you can do, they have a huge library of designs. Some of them are animated, some of them are just stills. So here is one of the more intense animated designs. I'm at sending it to the backpack. So here's Whoa. kind of a cool uh, ripple effect. That's, they call that firework. Wow. Um, and like I said, there's just there's just a lot here. Let me uh, switch over to you can this. you can do turn signals on your bicycle. <laughs> right, right. And so here's some cartoons. Here's some different widgets. They don't have many widgets. Um, and they also have games. You can literally play Snake and stuff like that on the backpack. But you can also do your own custom stuff. So I did a little Gizwiz logo. <laughs> and so there it is now on oh, the backpack. Wow. And if I wanted to, I can change the the brightness. So if I want to turn that down a little bit, turn it all the way off, or turn it all the way up, um, I can turn do it that back too. On again. I got I got to take a picture of that. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Here. Isn't that fun? Uh, I think uh, that, uh, this was just a. Oh, I think it's great. It's really, just really great. cool gadget. I'm going to do one more with you in it. <laughs> I love it. And um, so, yeah. So anyway, the Pix backpack was one of my absolute favorite gadgets uh, that I actually now that's, the, that's the full size one, right? Right. And the they had. Yeah, they had a smaller one. And I also I don't remember if they had colors back when we were checking them out. This is the, the smaller one. So this one costs 200 bucks. One. It's not cheap. Um but it is super cool. I mean, it is like crazy cool. Um, so anyway, the Pix backpack is backpack. one of my favorites. Let me just yeah. leave this. Uh, it's out. great. You did a great job with that. That's just great. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I know I was playing Tetris on it. And, and I know that you can um, do right and left turn signals. Oh, that's and so cool. also uh, something like a brake light. Yeah. So it's 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 yeah, really great. The mini, uh, the mini is one fifty nine, and the great big one that Chad has is one ninety nine. Here I am playing Snake on it. Oh oh, that oh, is great. Okay. There we go. <laughs> uh oh. Huh. 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 Got it. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's the Pix backpack, and is. It's software is really, really good. It, every once in a while, you know, after it's been a while that, I've, that I haven't used it, there's a little software update and it goes flawlessly and updates, it, you know, asks what Wi-Fi to connect to and it connects and then um, it gets its update and it shows you kind of where it is in the update based off of the backpack. It's really, really slick. Okay, back to you for okay for uh, me with another kind of LED that I bought six of these recently, and this is what that is. Ever had a jumbo light bar? It has nougat and batteries. Okay, this is a Reese's Take Five, which I love. This, however, is the jumbo light bar, so you don't want to eat that. But this is pretty neat. Okay. And uh, it has cob lighting. I think it's uh, chip on board. I think I believe it's chip on board lighting. All right, so this lights two different ways, and I'll tell you why I like it. It's very bright. I believe it's 220 lumens. So it has a little on-off switch. So I tell you the problem of uh, on-off switches. You put like this in the closet, and you turn it on. And when you walk out, you forget it, and you come back, and the batteries are dead. So then I started using, uh, what if I can reach under here and grab one? Uh, um, I started using these kind of lights, all right? And they go on automatically, and after about a minute or so, or, or when the movement stops, they go off. All right, I'm going to shut this off. But the problem with these are... Uh, I have these to illuminate under my desk and over all of the cabinets where I have gadgets. Every time you walk by them, they go on. And then usually by the time you need a gadget, you go over there and they're dead. So this is a workaround for that, all right? And this is what's different about the Jumbo light bar. So it has an on-off switch, but if you're the kind of person who forgets to turn something off, 
when you go in the closet or actually I'm going to mount this under my desk. I'm forever dropping things under my desk. Um, what you do is you hit this. You know, does it go back off again? Okay. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to set do my timer and keep talking. Okay. It's running. All right. So you want to make sure that you don't leave it on. Just hit that. And this will stay on for one minute. Well, we're going to, we're testing it now. All right. I pretty much started it when I said at one minute. So by the time I finish talking, this should go out. Uh, so this will keep it going for one minute, and that, that's what we're testing now, and then it will go off automatically. So get what you want out of the closet, just close the door, and this will go off. And it won't come back on again until you hit this switch or that switch. It uses four AA batteries, which come with it. And uh, I got it at Home Depot, and I forgot how much I paid, and I thought, wait a minute, 20 bucks, that's a lot. And then I realized it's four of them for 20 bucks. Okay, so that, that's not bad. So it's five bucks for this guy, which includes the batteries. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, uh, okay, it's off. So it's pretty much a minute. It's probably a minute and two seconds, but we won't quibble with that. Um, so I think this is a really decent idea. Jumbo light bar timer uh, again I think it's chip on board includes four triple-a batteries and has magnets on the back so you can stick it on a metal surface uh, this is probably actually it's not good under the sink because I rather have under the sink the ones that go on automatically it has you can put it up with put two screws and then put it on and slide it down and lock it that way and then it also comes with stick'em pads. All right, so you have three ways to mount the jumbo cob, uh, the timer cob jumbo light bar. But this is also pretty good too. <laughs> this does not last a minute. Trust me. <laughs> That's it. The guess what is? That's so funny. I, I'm so update. Uh, still good. Still working. Yes, yes, yes. As a matter of fact, um, I just reached under my desk and pulled. I've been using Velcro on it, and I just made sure that the Velcro doesn't go over where the battery compartment is. But I, I like it a lot. Awesome. Um, awesome. And, and I bought a couple for Dennis because uh, he's the same thing. It goes into the closet and forgets to shut the uh, thing off. And he's not crazy about recharging things, so this is good for him. Yeah, uh, it'll go off after one minute, and the four AA batteries, I've had them for months now. Perfect. Without, without having to replace them. Yeah. Perfect. Still $20, still a four-pack. Looks good. Yeah, and great. the only place I could find them was Home Depot. Yeah. So. I still feel like it's so weird that they put chip on board in the cob in the title. Like, anyone is <laughs> searching for that, like... I really need this LED light bar, but it has to be a cob chip on board. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't want it. I feel like that's just a little, still I'm a little weirded out by that. Uh, but good gadget, great gadget. I want that corn on the cob light. What, <laughs> exactly. Are you saying the corn on the cob light? I feel like it would confuse customers more than it would I, set them at ease. I, I, <laughs> I, I think you're absolutely right. I think you're absolutely right. Uh, okay, next one is you. Perfect. So this is a gadget that you covered that I just loved. I just thought that this was just such a cool gadget. And it had so much tech built into the actual gadget itself. Finally, uh, our hero this is product it. of the fall is the Real Rigs Recycling Truck. Uh, the Real Rigs Recycling Truck is an interactive 6-volt ride-on toy. Um, it has a lot of fun interactive play features. The mouth moves, the eyes move, uh, it lights up. I'll go ahead and turn it on for you here so you can see kind of what's going on. Look at that! What? It has eyelids! <laughs> it has a tongue! The, bump, the bumper is the mouth? Yeah. And then this is like the catchiest song. 
So that's a really cool toy. It has over 100 sounds and interactions with the child, um, including it comes with all these really fun accessories. Um, and these accessories are meant to be an educational opportunity to educate the child on how to recycle. Um, so the child can come around to the back here, and there are different slots on the back of the truck that allows the child to then choose how they're gonna sort that item. And then once they sort the item and it goes into the back, then they're able to use this lever here to release the, the items and that pops them out so that they can play and start over again. So a uh, very cool toy. Kid Love tracks. it. I just thought that was just so cool. Um, and, and it's, it's a, a ride-on toy. Right, so, so on top of all of that stuff, you can get on <laughs> yes. it and drive around. Uh, a kid can go, let me just see here, um, push button acceleration, top speed of a mile and a half an hour, rubber traction <laughs> tire uh, strip on the tires. Uh, recycle truck comes with a rechargeable six volt battery and wall charger. List price is one ninety nine, and I just before the show I checked and it's one seventy nine on Amazon and on uh, at Target. It's very clear. It's pretty big. It's Look crazy. at this kid. Crazy, I know, I know. And yeah, so it is. It's not you know super inexpensive. It's not like the perfect best deal, but I just think that for that amount of cash, it's such a. It has so much, uh, and also uh, yeah, I, what a nice learning experience of recycling and all that sort of stuff. So, um. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's called uh, The Recycling Truck by Kid Tracks. There you go. So that was mine. Back to you. Uh, okay. If kids are having, are you having trouble getting your kids to brush your teeth? Oh, all uh, the time. This is my bright brush kids <laughs> will never brush their teeth uh we bright had to brush. buy one of these for chad at ces <laughs> i kept saying chad did you brush your teeth no i don't want to brush my teeth it's no fun no this would have helped me out chad what you need to buy uh is bright brush and i think we have a little right? making it fun for for kids to brush Just a, a guy from the company properly. So I don't know if your parents ever ask you to brush your teeth and if you go upstairs and brush your teeth or if you don't really brush your teeth properly. But I ask my daughters all the time. Show your smile. I ask them all the time. They always say they brush their teeth but have to check if the brush is wet or check their breath. But now, there's a great game brush that actually plays games and makes it fun to brush and it checks that you brush properly. So if I activate one of the games, this is Rockstar Jam. So in this game, every time I brush correctly, I get a guitar riff. So. <laughs> That's great. If I try to fake it, or I brush wrong, it doesn't activate. So if I properly... <laughs> That's great. I know a lot of adults that need this. <laughs> now it's going to be sides, so you have my other teeth, and I can change instruments too. So now it's going to be a different instrument. <laughs> That's great. And then one more, I'll show you the drums. I change bonus. <laughs> you got a bonus. So then when you're done, after the whole session, you finish the level, you put the brush back down. And you can forget about it. And your parents, if they want to know if you brush properly or not, they can just pick up the brush and they double tap this button. I didn't brush the whole time, so I didn't get a good score. So send me back to the bathroom, brush properly, and come back again. So we have this one. That's awesome. I <laughs> love that gadget. Uh, he's a, a very good salesman, too. He is. He, he's great. He, he's a, a, a great uh, person demoing toys. It's called Bright Brush Game Brush. And there's also the Baby Shark version. And let's see, there are seven games in there. Space Attack, Soccer, Pinball, Dance Star, Race Car Rally, Arcade. Uh, it's really great. And um, I know Leo bought a bunch of them to give to kids as gifts. Uh, 20 bucks. 20 and bucks. recommended age for some reason is five and above. Maybe just because it has batteries. That's, Who knows? That, yeah. That's <laughs> Very really cool. great. Bright brush. Bright brush. 
Well, I'm gonna take it back over. So this gadget was actually an oopsie. This was something that I didn't plan on buying, but I had covered a different gadget for the Halloween month, and it turned into a crispy little uh, wafer because it, it burnt up. I was I put it, trying to put light gels on my house. So instead, I ended up purchasing these LED lights. Let me see if I can jump ahead to them. Um, and they ended up working fantastically. Uh, they really brightened up the house. I kind of wanted them to shine onto the side of the house. And uh, I ended up getting four, as you can kind of see there. And they just really, really, really worked great. And here's uh, kind of an example of what they ended up looking like. Uh, now, Ooh. those green lights are a, are a different light, but the orange light is made by those up lights. Um, and it's just, re I mean, they're just really, really, really nice. I ended up using these, for, I've, I've used them a few times, I've put them on other sets and other shoots, and they work out great. Um, and they're not too crazy expensive. Uh, this is a two pack for 40 bucks, so $20 each. They're made with really good materials. They seem really solid and really heavy. They're uh, water resistant. They're just great. So uh, that's uh, th this Nova Stella two pack of uh, RGB floodlights. And uh, in fact, here, let me see if I can find a video that I recently published. Um, and uh, you can kind of see. I also, right after yeah. you showed them, I bought a pair of them. I love them. Actually, I'm using a pair behind me. And I'm one of those people who, as it gets darker in the season, uh, I suffer from sad seasonal affective disorder. And I keep one in my backyard. Oh, nice. In, in the orange mode, shining up at the window so it looks like nothing. There could be a tornado outside <laughs> or a hurricane, and it's always bright and sunny sunshine That's in my awesome. back window. And when you buy their their two packs, and it comes with a remote, two remote controls, one for right. each. So I have remote control here, remote control uh, in my kitchen for the one, and that one is outside also. Right. And uh, yeah, here's this video that I recorded uh, using oh, them. This blue uh, over here on the black curtain. Um, it's very subtle. I didn't want it to be too, too bright. Uh, that is them being used for a totally different shoot um, later on. And I really like that they are so multicolored and multipurpose that I could use them for Christmas. I could use them for Halloween. I could, you know, if I wanted to use them any other time, uh, they just seem like a very versatile, versatile and well-built gadget. So that was... Uh, that was another one. And, oh, and, and 20 bucks each. It's 20 unbelievable. Bucks each. 20 bucks each. And they're yeah. kind of, there's a, uh, this is one of those products that there's a lot of variety on Amazon. So if you want the 100 watt version, you can find the 100 watt version. If you want, you know, a four pack, there's probably a four pack for you. Um, so if, if it doesn't quite fit your need or, pr or price point, there's a lot of sort of lookalikes that I think are all, in the same quality um, of them. Right. Well, yeah. it, that company makes a, a 20, a 60, and I think they make 100, too. Yeah, they do. And it, it, it looks massive. So here's the 20s, here's the 60s. They get bigger. And then the 100 is almost like comically large. It's gigantic. Oh, yes. Um, 80 bucks for that. I, right, that's unbelievably <laughs> inexpensive. And I think that's 100 watts... 100 LED watts, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh my gosh. I don't think, I don't, that's not a 100 watt equivalent for incandescent. I think that that is actually 100 watts that the LEDs are pulling, which means that that's like a like 300, a 400 watt, watt um, bulb yes. in, in a normal incandescent. Um, yeah. Because it, it just puts out too much light at the 20 watt level. I mean, th think of how much light it puts out. Oh my out. gosh, I accidentally <laughs> turned it on and it was on <laughs> white. Yeah. And I, I, I it took it took my eyes 15 minutes before I could see that box. The shape yeah, exactly. of that box 
floating around. Oh, and another they, small they, thing that I liked was that it remembers its previous settings. So I was able yes. to turn them off at night, and then when I turned them back on, I had that orange for Halloween. It went back to orange, which was which was nice. Yeah. Um, so there you go. The right. Novo Stella RGB floodlight. Back to you. Uh, okay, so uh, having a tiny kitchen, um, I had a coffee maker and then next to it a big Keurig machine. And I, I really, you know, I have a, a, a really small kitchen and I thought, does someone make a two-in-one and I did remember that Kerrig had come out with one, but it was kind of a bare bones looking gadget. Um, so I thought before I buy that, I'll look around. I found one from Hamilton Beach and I like it a lot. This is what it looks like. So on this side, it makes coffee in a carafe. And on this side, it makes coffee with a K cup. And there's uh, an interesting thing about this. If you want to make more coffee than the K cup, and use your own coffee, the little drain here opens up and there's another container in here. Take the cake cup out. This opens up and you can put your own grinds in here. Okay. And then you can make, I guess the equivalent of like two K cups. And I like the fact that pretty much everything over here comes out. So it's really easy to, uh, keep this clean and then this goes down here stores in the bottom and then this little guy goes on top and then if you're brewing into a thermal cup into a, uh, a big tall thermal container this lifts out so you can fill that uh, has a timer so this side is single when you're using it for a K cup and then you hit this and it will go to the carafe side and it has two settings for uh, a strength. Let me see what they are. Um, basically, it's just regular and bold. I just leave it on bold. And then you can pre-program it to go off when you want. And I thought it was a great deal. It was $99 on Amazon. And a couple of strange, <laughs> a very strange thing in the instruction book. After every, it says, you know, how to make a K-cup. And then it says, unplug machine. And then it tells you how to brew a carafe of coffee, which I did here. Made great coffee, by the way. And then it says, unplug machine. And on Amazon, someone wrote and said, why do you have to unplug the machine after every use? And I think it was some from the manufacturer replied, it's the safe thing to do. But it may uh, stop the clock. Well, it will stop the clock. So it makes no sense. Uh, in other words, every time you did something, you would have to unplug it. And when you plugged it in, you'd have to reset the clock. And, and, and it also said, uh, the clock in the machine is not meant to be your timepiece. What? Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, all right, so someone we know near and dear doesn't like their K-cup machine because it stores water and they wanted it so that when you made a K-cup, you put the water in just the amount you need. This machine is that way for the K-cup side, but it's very well done. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but over here, it shows you how many ounces of water you have in here. On this side, you have to put the water in before you make the K cup or before you brew it with that extra large uh, plastic container that your own grounds are in. And it, what I don't like about it is this, because it has its own water supply, you can preheat this, okay? Before I shave in the morning, I preheat the machine. By the time I come out, throw a K cup in, it makes a K cup rather quickly. This one, once you put the cake up in, then it starts heating the water. I did do it cheap. I'm sure the company's going to say, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, I put not hot water in, but I put a water in that was warmer than cold water. It, it did shorten the uh, time it was to make the cake up. But all in all, uh, I think for $99, it was, it is a very nice machine. 
I, I, I'm still not sure that I, I like it enough to keep it because this one, I like the fact that you don't have to fill it up. I make a lot of cake cups, okay? Uh, probably two a day. And I like the idea that you can fill this up and probably make 10 K cups worth of coffee with the reservoir filled. And this has bold and strong. Uh, and this one you set uh, how many ounces you want. I think it's like six ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces. And, and actually this one was also $99. So compared to that, this is, you get, you get more for $99 here, but I still think I might like this better for K-Cups. That's it. It is the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. You know, I'm, I'm right. reading the instructions right here on the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew, and it says, after setting the timepiece, unplug. So, uh, oh, I oh think yeah, that's good. After setting the clock, unplug, and then you know, the step and one then, is also to plug and it then in. Look, and then look at a watch and right. see what time it is. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, good catch. So any updates? I, I, since yeah, I, you know what? I'm keeping it. I haven't, I mean, I'm just going to keep it because mm -hmm. I like it. Um, and I've gotten used to throwing in water like you do just before I make a cake cup. Right, right. So Cool. Um, so anyway, uh, now back to you. One of your favorites. So one of my Another favorites. One of this favorites. is a pretty small one. Um, I just thought this was just very clever. Um, it's a way to encourage kids to eat. It kind of starts off with a little commercial. So we'll go ahead and play that. Oop. Isn't mealtime always a little crazy? So the gadget is a plate and a utensil combo, and they look like a little construction set. So you have a spoon, you have a fork, and you also have uh, a bulldozer, basically, which could help push the food onto the spoon and fork. And they all and they also have a design, dinosaur design. And I just thought that this was just so clever. Um, it the plate itself is built in with a little spot to uh, actually put that utensil. And so you, you almost have a ramp for the food as well. So it really makes mealtime fun. And I just thought that was just so darn clever. Uh, I what do a fun too. thing to do. Um, here's their website. So uh, constructive eating is the website. So let's check out the dino line. You kind of see that plate there. It has a spot for the fork, spot for the spoon, and then their bulldozer is just a triceratops, which is kind of funny. Um, but, you know, it is very fun to get a kid involved in eating, which I know I don't have a kid personally, but I'm, I've am i heard yeah, quite and, a difficult process. The the yeah, and the company said it's great for training kids who really aren't ready to hold a real utensil right because these are easy to grab and certainly as you said a lot of fun to use right right so there so. you go Con constructive eating yeah. i think i like the construction set a little bit better just because yeah me that, too me too <laughs> the newer, is the just newer cool. one is the rhino and then i think there's a fairy garden set but the construction set is the most the, the the most fun looking. Yeah. To, to, to have a bulldozer to push your mashed potatoes around. Right. What could beat that? Right. I want to play with my food. <laughs> and so with this, you, you can. It's pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Back to okay. you. Uh, well, my, my favorite gadget, um, hands down, and I think you liked it too. Yeah, of is course. Present Pets. It is, I, I think I, I, I told this on the show at the time, when the woman uh, from the agency said, yeah, I want to do an unboxing. And I go, you know, they're really so dreary. And she said, no, I'm talking about the toy unboxes itself. I said, what? She said, yeah, it's a puppy that takes the box apart from the inside. 
And I said, can you send me one so we could video that? And we did. And uh, I think we have a little video of, so you, you, you tear the wrapper open. It comes within uh, an outside box and, and that you take apart uh, by yourself. And then once that's apart and we have a video of it, I guess, speed it up. Oh, here we go. Okay. So once you get it out of the outer box. Okay. Oh, oh, you, oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, the video can take and over. Stop there. I guess we don't need these anymore. All right. This is kind of fun. This is super important. Super important. You won't need to pull off any more layers. Take a look at the unboxing card to make sure you're facing the front of the box before the next step. Just look for the Present Pets logo. Are you ready? Make sure you're facing the front of the box. Pull the gift tag and... Ooh! Okay, so I assume we'll have the front of the box face you. All right. And let me just see. Uh-uh. Take the ba da ba 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 Okay. Pull... Pull tag. <laughs> I can't believe how much it bounces. It's just so funny I, still. It is so clever. There it goes. <laughs> and it's in a, it, it's the shape of a pork print. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie would be freaking out. <laughs> so the dog is working hard and then you hear the <laughs> Hey, whoever you are in there, are you doing a good job? I see holes in the side. He's, get, he's getting really angry. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not going to turn it, but there's a hole inside. Now we have holes in each side. Oh, oh. We see a puppy beginning. I hope we know. <laughs> Can you see the side? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it's just, it's, it's just amazing. It's like magic. I know. I mean, I've seen this like for so many times and it still amazes me. He's, he's exhausted. Exhausted? Wow. I would. Look at, look at this. <laughs> I'd be exhausted. No wonder, <laughs> no wonder this puppy is tired. Oh my gosh. And then you have a puppy to play with. He has a hundred uh, sounds. And... Oh, oh, yeah. You like that part? <laughs> oh, you know what? I uh, Let's see if he... What was this? Do you sit down? Do you what was that What's Sony it? dog that was like crazy expensive oh, in the 90s? Oh, uh, Ibo. Oh, Ibo. Ibo. <laughs> it reminds me Ibo of Ibo. Was, was $1,500. <laughs> and, oh, but you see what was inside the box. The dog had all those. Yeah, all those things. Oh, you like to be tickled? <laughs> so it kind of kind of takes the magic out of it. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna, we'll watch the rest of the video <laughs> to see what this guy does. And uh, he's, and he's like cute. from 40 cute. to 50 bucks. At Christmas, it was like 80 and 90. Because I'm sure they were so the scalpers were getting them. Um, but they're back in stock now, and they're, they are uh, 40 to 50 bucks. Oh, well, it looks uh, like they're, they're sold look... out currently. Oh, they're sold wow. out again? Oh, yeah. Okay. But uh, they have a few others. So this one's, you know, 50. But there's different different design. It looks like they didn't have the same oh, design okay. on them. okay. Okay. Here. Also, uh, check Walmart. If you're interested in this, check Walmart right. because they also handle it. And they right. had a, when the prices went up, Walmart still had it at a lower price. But that's at Present Pets. Present uh, just Pets. A, a, a amazing technology. Yeah. It's very just... cool unboxing experience. <laughs> PC guy said, did, it, did the doggy leave a present inside the box? <laughs> not that just type of some, present. <laughs> not that kind of, just some litter. 
Uh, and we have an honorable mention, too. You know what? Uh, the, the screen behind me, I, I bought because every once in a while, I, I'm still all my ABC spots for a year are going to be uh, from here from Disneyland. And I don't have the same director every time. And every once in a while I get a director that goes, well, what's all that stuff in the background that we want to concentrate on you. So I figured, let me just get something to cover the background. And I found this on Amazon. I think it was 82 bucks. Oh, it looks it's, like it might be yeah. less now. Yeah. Yeah. 79 bucks. But what's great about it is, it's not even rice paper because in one of the reviews, the person said it looks like rice paper, but it's a, a non-woven fabric. So it's not as uh, delicate as rice paper. So it's a little more uh, heavy duty. And I find that uh, behind it, I have one of those lights that Chad uh, just showed that mm -hmm. I bought. So I can color the thing from the back. You can project on it from the front. And it's a quick, easy way to cover crap. Or, you know, if, if, you, if you're doing Zoom from your bedroom right? and you don't want to clean the bedroom, just stand this up behind you, uh, 79 bucks. And um, it, it's a great background. I, I just like this a lot. It's from Round Hill Furniture, and uh, it's the four-panel room divider. It reminds and, me and of that's, – um... That's wood. There's a so this is you know yours. Uh, there's a, a big Twitch streamer who uses something very similar. Uh, his name is Saikuno, and uh, every time I see his background, I think about how you got this you know same thing, and how you know well it's worked for you. Um, let me see if I can pull up a quick video of his. Maybe he's live right now. Um, but yeah, it's just it, it's a great way to create a professional looking background without needing to quickly and it's anything. lightweight it's made out of wood and you can fold it up and it's just it's just great it's yeah. just great absolutely let's see oh yep he's live right now i don't know what oh. he's playing but there he is and he has his uh his background back down oh there. my gosh yes it almost. looks so similar almost yes it looks exactly so similar exactly. uh okay so that's it those are all of our our top gadgets of 2020. Uh, so uh, enjoy, enjoy our curated list of all of the gadgets from last year. I want to say big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys support us every single episode. Huge thanks to you for giving us just a little bit Given us your generosity, super appreciate it. Uh, and if you like the show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You can head to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a big old banner that'll take you to Patreon. And there's also a link to donate via PayPal if you want to donate via, pay via PayPal. And thank you however you support. Really, really appreciate it. Um, speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch a show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Whenever we're live, the website just updates with the live stream. You can also follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash gizwizshow if you want to be notified via Twitch because I have a nice uh, system for that. Uh, and if you missed a live episode, don't worry. We have it on the website, gizwiz.tv. You can see all of our previous episodes. You can subscribe on iTunes. Uh, we got our an RSS feed. And we also have the YouTube channel there for you to subscribe to. Head on over to gizwiz.biz. It's Dickie D's website where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we cover. So if you ever need any info about any of the past gadgets, head there. And you can also play What the Heck Is It? It's the game show online. This is a gadget that you gotta guess underneath the Gizwiz logo. You gotta guess what the heck this is. And if you think you know, then get a guessing. Now this is, this is obvious uh, to me that uh, this is a gadget for, um, uh, for whenever you are sunbathing, if you don't want your hands to burn, you can just stick your fingers into this little area and it'll protect them uh, from the, the sun's rays. So if you think you know what it is, get a guessing. 
six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. So get a guess over at gizwiz.biz. I think that wraps it up for our show. We'll see uh, you. One second. Uh, oh, yeah. we, uh, we're still looking for videos, okay? Oh, Just yeah. for, for January, we're not showing videos because we're, next two weeks we're doing uh, gadgets from CES. Uh, we have one video in-house that we have planned, so that'll be in February. But we're looking for more videos, okay? Uh, one to three minute video on any kind of gadget. New, old, gadget you love, a gadget you hate especially a gadget that's in the garage or the attic uh, that that uh, you bought and it was top of the line, high tech at the time, but you can't throw it out because you loved it so much back then. Make a little video, one to three minutes, put it on YouTube, send us the URL. If we show it and we're showing 99% of everything that comes in, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine autographed to you if you live in the U.S. If not, no matter where you live in the world, I'll autograph a 38-year-old Alfred E. Newman photo and send you a high-res image to print out where you are. Mail at gizwiz.tv and uh, get your video in the next two weeks. Uh, gadgets from Virtual CES. Perfect. With that, we'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>